what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts we're back in this piece trying to get some slam dunk reactions done man this series is awesome um as i said it's not there for me in the greatness and the upper echelons of sports anime yet but you guys keep telling me oh it's gonna get better and i can definitely see it getting better of course i'm looking forward to it but anyways we're just gonna jump in we know the game is going on they introduced a new character some of you guys have let me know that um the new character was not in the manga also they completely misanimated that the um it's either that or they just let the, the the ref completely ignore that play where he got up he jumped landed and then passed the ball that is not allowed in basketball no matter what basket where you're playing basketball it just this just one of the basic rules in in basketball that everybody knows <laughs> you know so they completely missed that but that's okay um I don't think they meant to to animate it like that uh in the manga in the manga it looks very different as shout out to i think it was sebastian that sent me those screenshots from the manga um you know let me see what happened in the manga and it was not the same it was not the same so um definitely they they animated that wrong and it's probably some people who don't know anything about basketball that animated that part i'm just just gonna put it out there <laughs> anyways but in any case guys let's jump in let's get these two episodes done for your thursday reactions and i will see you guys for the review All right, so that was episodes, what, 32, 33, Slam Dunk, man. Um, so, Sakuragi, or Animeji, uh, that's what his name, whatever. He's having a little bit of trouble, man. He's having a bit of a trouble there trying to figure out how to not foul people. Um, because there's, in, I, I, um, the dunk on the head thing, like, it, 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 it's not, it's a foul, but it's not a hard foul. That's can be considered a, 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 um, a flagrant to um, shouldn't be you know what I'm saying but at the end of the day it was his fifth foul anyways he was gonna be out of the game right so for for me and for me looking in from a fan of Shouku demolishing these teams right I'm looking at it from the perspective of why did they even have to introduce that character? Like, introducing that character that wasn't in the manga, it was unnecessary. There was no need for them to do that. But, you know, you guys said it was for development of some sort. Or maybe they just wanted. Did he, did, did, um, did Anamichi, did he fall out in the manga too? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, as far as I can see, it wasn't that necessary for them to, in, to add that character in the anime. But it is what it is. They wanted to they wanted the match to last a little longer, give them a little bit more fight. So I get it. They still got washed. So <laughs> does it really matter? You know what I'm saying? They still got washed. They still lost by a ton. Over I think it was like they lost by over by over fifty points. Like wins like those don't come very often. It's very rare that any team loses by 50 points like that has to be you know embarrassing as hell you know um but in any case the way how this anime is going i'm loving it i'm loving the development even this um episode 33 where they're showing you know him going to akagi's house to to ask him you know how can i avoid being fouled out in the game i don't want it to happen again I mean, you can look at it from the standpoint of this, he's trying to develop himself, but at the same time, you know, he's looking at it from, a, even if he doesn't realize it, he needs to do it because that is precious minutes, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, points 
turnovers that you know what i'm saying like in a crucial game in a team that actually can play basketball <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's going to be a problem if he's just fouling out every time and as akaki said he feels like he's gonna learn and i know they're developing he's the main character so they're taking the time to develop um giving him the, the character development that he needs so that when he starts balling out everybody's gonna be like oh, I, oh who knew and that's what's gonna happen everybody's gonna be like who knew that this dude the same dude that we used to laugh at at games or come to games to laugh at is now dunking on everybody like who knew you know what i'm saying and that they don't understand that his work ethic is what is going to take him to the next level is work ethic and i'm glad that he saw how hard rukawa works because you know rukawa is not the, not the type of player that just shows up and be good you know what i'm saying like he's a genius but he's also works hard at his genius and that's the thing when you combine both of those things you know what i'm saying that's what makes you um a true genius in my opinion at whatever you do when you combine the skill with the hard work and the talent and everything just comes together you know what i'm saying um that's what makes you a true genius so when it comes on to i'm glad that he saw him i'm glad that he saw um rukawa working out working on his craft doing good things it'll motivate him because he doesn't like to see rukawa doing better than him and it motivate him to do better to practice more to work on the footwork and all of this other stuff that he needs to work on um you know so we'll see how everything goes anyways that is all i have to say thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate y'all and i will catch you guys for some more slam dunk um as you're watching this two more episodes should be on early access so if you want you can jump over there whatever to watch those two extra episodes that are on early access anyways guys see you guys next time for some more slam dunk peace